Hi, I'm Geneva Lamb with the Little Rock Marathon, and I wanted to introduce you to the newest person on our committee. This is Rhonda Redman. Hi, I'm Rhonda Redman. I'm the assistant principal at Ringgold Elementary, and we have the Ringgold Runners we take every year to the Little Rock, um, Little Rockers Final Mile. Well, almost every year. We have missed some years, but most of the years we get to go. She is our chair of the Little Rockers Kids Marathon. And Rhonda has been around Little Rockers for a long, long time. It's been a long time. <laughs> how many years has it, how many years have you had a program? My first program, I had to actually look on my computer earlier to figure this out because I was like, I've got to have some sort of date somewhere, <laughs> uh, was the 2009-2010 school year. And that was my first Little Rockers group to take. <laughs> That's right. And that was when you were with Howard Perrin, wasn't no, it? No, was I was it here. here. I've only okay. taken Ringgold. Okay, um, that's right. Because Howard Perrins was huge, <laughs> and so the RPE teacher did it there. That's right. Okay, I was trying to remember all of that. It, who knows, all of these names and people and teams, it kind of gets messed up over the years. Anyway, uh, so it, when you were talking to me about being the chair and about your experience with it, and specifically your, your son's experience, mm -hmm. I thought it was so <laughs> incredible because I've experienced it with my children, and I think it would be important for the leaders and parents, if you're watching, to know how it all came about for you and right. your mindset behind it all. Well, um, we started 2009, 2010, and that was uh, Brendan's first year to do it. I have a daughter that did it too, but That's she right. wasn't really, she didn't, it didn't spark an interest for her, you know. So I, I tell the kids when I gather up my group every year, even if only 50% of you find <laughs> a passion for running. That's what this is about, because 50% of my kids found a passion for running. I think that's by, what mine was too. <laughs> by coming through the Little Rock, um, Little Rockers program. So he started with Little Rockers, and Little Rockers kind of started me and Darren into yeah. running, and then that really turned Brendan even more into running, and the kid ended up going cross country, um, setting the school record for a while here at Benton for running cross the country. In fact, I took a picture, got his picture too from the day he set the record <laughs> in his senior year. <laughs> so that was really exciting. He's a huge runner. He became so into it that he, the very first year that you're eligible to run the marathon, the half marathon, he signed up and with zero training, just went out there and ran him some 13.1 miles. And I was like, we don't advise not training. Right, we don't. And I didn't either. <laughs> and I would try to get him to go. And he's like, I'm fine. And I thought, well, I'll just let him learn the hard way. That this is going to hurt. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll, he'll just have to learn a hard life lesson. And um, he showed me. Clearly, he found a niche that he would have not found if we had never stumbled into Little Rockers. <laughs> and so when you were talking about, so the, the Little Rockers program is, is there's some structure to it, but there's also a lot of freedom to it. Every school is different. Every, every leader is different. Some feel more comfortable with lots of structure. Some feel more comfortable in creating their own. And so when, when Rhonda and I were talking about it, I wanted her to just kind of go through how she does it. So starting a program is not difficult. It really isn't. You just have to have a desire and a love and, and some kids that maybe have a desire too. Yeah, so basically I always took the um, documents that were given to us as kind of a, a blueprint, but I could change it right. if I wanted to, <laughs> and so I just kind of did. And I, um, I didn't make them do all the miles in my presence. That was the first really big thing to kind of ease everything. I right. put it kind of more as a family bonding time, so they do... Um, some miles here at school, and I luckily our playground perimeter is about a quarter of a mile long, so they can do it at recess if they want to. Uh, they turn in their miles to me. They, the parents register through the online service pretty much only. Like if they need assistance with that, they can come to me and I'll help them out. Right. But um, they, that's how we do the whole online system. Um, so when I get their permission forms, I just send out, I tweak the letter to how I'm going to run it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I send it home. And once I get my interest in, I, I, I always send that home early because as soon as I have these meetings with kids, they all want to do it. Exactly. Because I take them into this room, one of our empty rooms, and I show them all my old medals. And, and I say, look, you know, 
I'm just trying to see if anybody develops a, and finds out that they have a love for running because if you could find out now, how great would that be? And right. I tell them how I didn't even start running until I was like 40. So if you have a love for it, it's, I think it'd be great for them to find out now because I would right. love to have known earlier. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I always swim and it's kind of like, oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, before 40, I just would have never dreamed. I was like, why would anybody want to run? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for, those, um, for those people that are thinking about starting a program at their school, their church, um, their synagogue, wherever, uh, a program for the Little Rockers program is, is 10 kids or more. Um, and I think we offer the program, the training program, free online. Mm -hmm. But you do have to, to sign up so that we know that you're actually thinking about doing it so that number one, we can help you. And number two, we know where the information is going. Um, we have a lot of programs that um, are not in Little Rock or not in Central Arkansas that they just do the program at their, at their school or their group that is away from Little Rock because you know some schools, some programs, like in Pocahontas, you know, we have one there they will do it virtually and um, if you have that type of situation all you have to do is email us and we'll help you with the logistics of it and heck if you let us know soon enough we can come up there and and present medals and make it a big celebration yeah. so that'd be fun yeah yeah <laughs> and so if you have any questions go to our website littlerockmarathon.com go to the kids page and we'll try to get a qr code up there so you can just go directly to the kids page and email us, everything is there. Um, and and the, the leader registration is not for parents that wanna register their children. It's, it's specifically for programs. There's a, another tab where you go to actually register your child for the final mile. Lots of details on there. Sometimes I think it's too much, but it, it eliminates a lot of questions, I yeah. think. And uh, I am happy to hear from you. I had some people already email me some questions and I am pretty quick to the response. Uh, shockingly so, even shocking myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> so just feel free to email me, get in touch with me. I can make this easy for you if you, if you hit a bump. <laughs> so there you go. Now, the Little Rockers Kids Marathon, the final mile is race weekend. It's the Saturday of race weekend. And so what the kids will do basically is they're gonna run their miles, they'll run 25.2 at least uh, before race weekend. Then on race weekend, we get all the kids together and they run their final mile. We do it by age group, so it's very safe. And the kids are the great part about the whole weekend. It's very exciting and their faces are amazing. But we have all the details available on our website, littlerockmarathon.com. And as always, you can email us We'll only be taking 1,800 children for this year. So, and we usually have like eh, 2,000 kids. So if you're thinking about having a program, let us know as soon as you can, because I'd hate for your kids to be training and, and you to think you're gonna have a program, forget to register your program, and then you know we have a situation and we wanna be able to, to help as many as we can. So Sounds thank you great. for being part of it and we'll have some more of these kind of videos for you in in the weeks to come bye bye